Did you know, guys, that the race to build the world's first one-kilometer structure has reignited with fascinating developments? Saudi Arabia's announcement to resume construction on the Jeddah Tower was quickly followed by Dubai's decision to restart work on the Dubai Creek Tower. However, there's an intriguing twist. The developers have decided to completely redesign the entire structure. Let's delve into the specifics of what's changed and explore the complexities of building such monumental skyscrapers. We'll start by examining the evolution of the Dubai Creek Tower. Announced in 2016, it was poised to become the tallest man-made structure globally, with a proposed height of at least 1,300 meters, dwarfing even Dubai's Burj Khalifa and potentially surpassing the Jeddah Tower. Despite substantial progress, including the completion of the tower's foundations in just two years, the main structure's construction never commenced. The search for a contractor and the disruptive impact of the COVID-19 pandemic led to an indefinite suspension of the project, with even its mention removed from Imar Properties' website, sparking speculations of its abandonment. Interestingly, the surrounding Dubai Creek Harbor continued its development, aimed at becoming a new high-end district in historic Dubai Creek. The harbor, once finished, will feature luxury hotels, apartments, restaurants, a five-star waterfront hotel, an 80-berth marina yacht club, and a man-made beach and lagoon. This expansive project is set to cover an area twice the size of downtown Dubai and accommodate 200,000 residents and thousands of tourists. After three years of silence, a dramatic turn of events occurred. Amar Properties announced the redesign of the Dubai Creek Tower, hinting at an even more grandiose and impactful concept. Despite the redesign's details still being under wraps, there's speculation that the new design might not aim for record-breaking height, contradicting previous ambitions. This unexpected change could be due to various factors, including shareholder pressure or practical challenges in the original design. It Mar Properties, despite a 25% increase in sales and plans for expanding their projects, seems to be scaling down the tower's design for quicker completion and possibly due to feasibility issues in the original plan. Building a skyscraper, especially one over a kilometer tall, poses significant challenges. Stability is paramount, and as a building's height increases, so do the wind forces against it, making construction increasingly difficult challenging, and expensive. To better understand this, we've created a conceptual version of the Dubai Creek Tower. While this is not the actual design, it helps in comprehending the architectural and engineering considerations involved in skyscraper construction. From wind resistance to structural integrity, the design and construction of such a tower is a marvel of modern engineering, reflecting the ambitious spirit of human endeavor particularly for ambitious projects like the Dubai Creek Tower, involves delving into various aspects of engineering and design that make such undertakings feasible. In the realm of foundations and groundwork, the challenges are immense. For a structure as towering as the Dubai Creek Tower, the foundation must be extraordinarily robust to support the immense weight and height. This involves deeply embedding the foundation into the earth to reach stable strata, often through complex engineering techniques that ensure the building can withstand not just the gravitational forces, but also other environmental factors like earthquakes. The structural design of skyscrapers is a feat of modern engineering. As buildings reach skyward, they encounter increased wind forces. Architects and engineers use a mix of wind tunnel testing and advanced simulations to understand these forces and design buildings that can sway without sustaining damage. The choice of materials is also crucial, with high-strength concrete and steel being staples in the industry. However, as technology progresses, we might see the incorporation of new materials like carbon fiber or advanced alloys, offering greater strength and flexibility. Another critical aspect of skyscraper design is vertical transportation. In buildings as tall as the Dubai Creek Tower, moving people efficiently is a challenge. This is where innovative elevator technology comes into play. Elevators need to be fast, efficient, and safe, often pushing the boundaries of current technology. For instance, the development of super-fast elevators with advanced cable mechanisms or even magnetic levitation could be key in making such tall buildings practical. Ventilation and sustainability are also significant considerations. 
Skyscrapers need advanced HVAC systems to ensure a comfortable and healthy environment throughout the building. Additionally, the push towards sustainability means that new skyscrapers are often designed with energy efficiency in mind, utilizing techniques like natural ventilation, solar energy harvesting, and green building materials. Finally, the aesthetics and symbolic aspects of skyscrapers like the Dubai Creek Tower cannot be overlooked. These buildings are not just functional structures. They are symbols of human ambition and achievement. Their designs often reflect the cultural, economic, and technological aspirations of the societies that build them, making each skyscraper a unique landmark. In this design concept for a skyscraper standing 1,000 meters above ground, we've employed several innovative techniques to ensure its stability. Firstly, the foundation is modeled on the Burj Khalifa's three-axis design. This triangular footprint isn't just visually striking. It also enhances stability by mitigating wind forces. The foundation, acting like three robust legs, evenly distributes the building's weight across three points instead of one. The tower's exterior is another key aspect. Its sleek, tapering design and the inclusion of strategic notches and setbacks help manage wind forces. The tapering shape lessens direct wind impact, while the notches and setbacks facilitate the passage of wind currents aiding in the structure's stability. We also integrated a tuned mass damper to combat the natural swaying of skyscrapers. This device, by moving counter to the building's sway, significantly reduces the vibrations caused by strong winds, ensuring comfort and safety for the occupants. In addition to structural stability, we prioritized the safety of those inside. Modern skyscrapers are equipped with comprehensive structural monitoring systems to track vital data like wind speed and building sway. These systems act as a control center, swiftly identifying and addressing any structural concerns. Aesthetics and design are also crucial. Our design retains the original's net of steel cables, a distinctive feature that adds to the building's iconic silhouette. This element, while mainly supportive, also contributes to the tower's unique look. Looking at the Dubai Creek Tower, whose construction is set to resume next year, and the Jenna Tower, we see the global race to build the first one-kilometer structure heating up. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our concept. What would you change or add? Share your ideas in the comments. And if you're curious about the Jetta Tower, check out our related video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more updates.